take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little movement you show Love is all around, no need to waste it You can have the time, why don't you take it? Hello, Wonderland families. My name is Miss Annie, and I'm Wonderland's art teacher. Now, some of you might be a little bit nervous about distance learning this year, and you have every right to be nervous. It's gonna be different. But I'm here to talk through some of the challenges that might arise and some strategies that we can do to be prepared so that we can tackle this thing head on. I'm here to talk about two main subjects that could possibly make distance learning and art a little difficult. And both of them start with the letter M. These two main subjects are materials and messes. But I'm noticing, wait a minute, I am embarrassed. I took the art history time machine and I'm stuck in 1972. Let's see if I can take it back to 2020. What? That's better. Like I said, materials. For most of the projects, I'm gonna have materials that either the students already have in their other classes or materials that can be found at home. So some examples of materials that the students probably already have are things like scissors and pencils, markers, glue sticks, crayons, and computer paper. However, there might be some projects where it includes materials that maybe they have them already, but maybe they don't, such as uh, a watercolor set, construction paper, uh, and oil pastels. If you don't have those items, one of the things that you can do is find it online, order it online. I will give you a link for things that are very cheap. Another resource you can use is the 99 cent store. It is my favorite store. If you are one of those families who really cannot access these materials, you can contact the school through a Google link that I will post on my Schoology website. And you're gonna put your student name, parent name, the materials that you need, and they will log that in and get those materials for you if it is an emergency. However, some of the materials that we'll be using in some of the classes are unlikely art materials that you might find at home such as recyclables, like thick or thin cardboard pieces, toilet paper or uh, paper towel rolls, styrofoam cups or bowls or paper plates, old jars that kids can use for water jars, and old plastic containers, which actually come in handy a lot. Not only those materials, but a lot of the materials can be found within your kitchen pantries, such as flour and salt to make salt dough, wood skewers, dish soap, food coloring, even potatoes or beets to make some prints with, and last but not least, a baking sheet to avoid some messes. Now that I'm talking about messes, let's talk about what you need to make sure that your home does not turn into a Jackson Pollock painting. One tip to make sure that your areas do not get messy is to already decide with your child where they're going to do their art projects. Either that can be at the kitchen table 
or at a card table or even outdoor if you so choose. The only thing is you want them to still have access to their computer for our Zoom classes, but also have a space where they can set out their materials. Now, for any of these spaces, if you want to keep the spaces nice and neat, you're going to have to invest in some heavy duty plastic. I recommend either purchasing a tarp, which you can find at any hardware store uh, for very, very cheap, or even using an old shower curtain like how I have here. What you want to do is before your child starts the art project, you can lay out either the uh, shower curtain or the tarp, laying it nice and flat as possible, um, and then setting up your materials on here. If your child is just doing some sort of drawing activity, but they're using a marker or markers, you definitely still want to have plastic out on your table because if those little hands accidentally uh, make a mark off the page, you at least have avoided a mark on your table. If I am going to do even messier projects with the kids, I will sure let you know on my Schoology page in the list of materials. I will also include things like a baking sheet, and paper towels, sponges, and rags that are good to have on hand. So for example, if we're doing a project that involves watercolor or food coloring and water, such as our bubble prints, you may notice that it might get a little bit messy, but it's gonna be so fun for the kids to do. So instead of not letting them do it, let's just be prepared by having your baking sheet out and any sort of cleanup materials right by them so that they don't continue to make a mess in your home. Okay, let's talk about how you can find that list of materials. If your student logs on to Schoology and clicks on the art course button, my page will show up. Now in the right hand corner, there should be a column that says upcoming and with a little calendar icon. That is where I'm going to be posting the materials lists of what the students will need for their Zoom classes. So for example, the first First one that's posted for September 1st for this class, you may notice I have Zoom class one and then all the materials that they will need for that class listed right next to that calendar icon. Now I'm going to try to post materials lists about two weeks or a whole month in advance so that all families can gather up the materials and make sure that they have everything before that Zoom class. If you have any questions or concerns about materials, what you can always do is email me directly. If you go onto the art course in Schoology, up on the right hand corner is a little uh, envelope icon. If you click that envelope icon, that will allow you to write an email to me via Schoology. Uh, you can type in my email address, which is cp-anne.kyle at lausd.net. I want to thank you, Wonderland parents, for taking the time to watch this video. And if there's anything that I can do to make sure that the art classes are running smoothly during distance learning, please do not hesitate to email me and let me know how I can help. I know that this is a really big pain for parents and students, but I think that we can get this done together. Remember, you're gonna make it after